What's up guys? OC Till Extreme here with a guide on how to use legacy hardware with Windows 7. So on Windows 7 you have XP mode which for this you should download and install first. And here are just here is my XP virtual machine with some basic programs. So the legacy hardware that I have is my Intel CS 630 PC camera. Yes, it's old, but it still works as a webcam because I really don't want to have to buy another one. And the webcam on the Mac, while it's good, I don't like using that for most of my work. So I need to use this webcam on this Windows 7 computer. So basically, you can install your hardware just like you would on a regular Windows computer. Except for, first you have to make sure that here in the top where it says action USB tools and control alt delete you have to attach your USB device and now that I've attached it since I've already installed this device just like I would any other device you can download your driver Windows might find the driver automatically or you could insert your CD-ROM then this thing pops up just as if you were plugging in the USB device on an actual computer. So we can see that this works. Since this is a webcam, we can go to Cameroid.com, Snap, which is basically photo booth online, allow the camera access in. Hey, there I am. So we see that this can work in this virtual machine which is not very well integrated into the other Windows 7 experience but this also can work in native Windows 7 XP mode integration so let's go to XP mode applications let's open Safari again let's close this virtual machine and the program should open up here we go now this will fit in very well with your Windows 7 experience everything works fairly well right there and it still looks fine so let's go back to Camroid.com and to use a legacy device like this what's important is that you go right here you right click and you can click manage USB devices and right now it says my PC camera is attached. If you're going to use any other hardware, you can, right here, you can click attach. If you're not going to use it anymore, you click release. And this is basically your USB plug and unplug menu. So we can try it again. And look, there I am again. So if you have some type of hardware that you need to use on Windows 7 but only works on Windows XP you can use it under XP mode but there are a few limitations in that if you're installing something like a printer you have to install the programs you're gonna print with like let's say Microsoft Word onto XP virtual machine because if you select here and if I go to my computer there's no camera right here like there would be in XP mode but still this is not a bad way to be able to use your legacy hardware on Windows 7